Hello and happy Saturday. Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good week. Hope you enjoyed last weekend's wedding-y, album-y type vlog. Um, yeah, we had such a lovely day. It was perfect. Um, yeah, just really, really lovely. So this weekend, we, or last weekend, the weekend that this vlog is from, we went to my friend Hannah's for the weekend and just kind of really chilled out and relaxed. There wasn't that much content to vlog. Probably the most exciting thing we did that last weekend. Do you want to show her in? If I turn it around. Come here. What? Erin got her ears pierced. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was exciting. She got them done at Claire's, which I was a bit dubious about because I've heard a few horror stories, but actually they were very good, very professional, very clean. And um, yeah, Erin's ears seem to be fine. Just cleaning them three times a day, twiddling them around, doing all the shenanigans. So yeah, so that was cool. So this weekend's vlog is a bit of a different one. It's a food tasting. It's just Erin and I. And last weekend was um, 4th of July weekend. So while we were in Henley with my friend, there was an American sweet shop and there was loads of sweets there that I'd seen on loads of different vlogs. We were like, let's get a load. I think I spent about 27 quid. Um, and then when Chris and I went shopping in Lidl's on Monday because of the 4th of July celebrations, they also had some American sort of sweet treats and stuff. So if I turn the camera around, this, excuse my work laptop in the back. This is the selection we've got. So we've got about 13 things. So I was going to rate them one to 10, but we'll just go 13 down to one. So Erin and I are going to have a little taste of all of these and then we will come back to you and Marley. There he is over here. Um, yeah, we'll come back to you and uh, let you know 13 to one what our favorites were. Ooh, exciting. The tasting has happened. Thank you, very <laughs> So there's some little surprises in there, wouldn't there, Min? Mm -hmm. Some really like, ooh, that's nice. And some really like, hmm, that's grotesque, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, nothing was grotesque. Yes, it was. Okay. So we're going to go 13 down to our favourite. So at 13, coming in at number 13, was the McKenney Cookie Brownies. So they come... I have no idea how many, how much these were. They weren't expensive. So they come individually wrapped. I'll open one up. I don't think I took a picture of one of these, did I? I can't remember. But dry. Unbelievably so dry. I think it's like the, the cookie dough is like a biscuit. But it's so dry. You'd need like a load of cream and stuff on it. And it wasn't that flavourful, was it? So that we did we did this really quickly the tasting so yeah so that was number 13 now number 12 was probably one of the biggest surprises wasn't it mm -hmm. so number 12 was the oreo brownie it's a disappointment it's so this in the american shop was 2.99 and erin loves an oreo don't you yeah. any flavor you name it she loves it this was not nice it was very like fakey brownie wasn't it really like crumbled in your mouth yeah and it just wasn't a nice brownie cream filled oreo mm, no we didn't like it did we so if you like oreos don't buy this <laughs> we would say heads up heads up indeed uh so that was 12 what are we on now 11 i feel like we're doing the top 10 back in the day so coming in at number 11 was this also was the american sweetie shop cookie dough red velvet cupcake bites these were 2.99 just coming every really didn't like this i didn't mind them um yeah. they are egg free Shows it, it? I think these would be quite nice with like vanilla ice cream. No, nothing. They wouldn't be nice with anything. <laughs> so, what have we got there? So, we've got 12. We're on our 10. 10. So, this is 10. So, coming in at 10 was the Lidl's McKennedy White Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. It's nice. There's nothing wrong with it, is there? It's just not I the most exciting. People, hang on. Um, Please excuse Erin having to leave. Um, yeah, it just wasn't the most exciting. And it basically was like, it's like quavers, but without the real cheesiness on it. But more than edible, I would say. So that wasn't too bad. 
next then, coming in at number nine, was another Lidl's. That was the mini shortbread biscuit rings. They're really nice, but nothing special. Like that. Nice as like a little coffee or something. But they didn't blow me away. But they are very nice. And um, I'm sure if they were Lidl's, they weren't that expensive. So yeah, so they were tasty. What was that? Number nine? Hang on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, number nine. Now, number nine was the Kit Kat Key Lime Pie. <clears throat> 1 .99. I've inserted the pictures below. This is what it looks like. It's green. It's a green fingered Kit Kat. How exciting. Um, actually tastes really nice. It's really zesty. It's almost like a um, like a cheesecake because it is key lime, obviously. But again, it's like a key lime pie come cheesecakey, and it's really nice. I really liked it. I mean, it is one ninety nine. I don't know how much a normal Kit Kat is. I don't think they're two quid. So yes, yeah, so I really like that. Two hundred and twenty calories for the four fingers. I don't think that's too bad to you. I don't know. Comment down below. So what have we got? I'm terrible at keeping up with these numbers, aren't I? Are we on seven? Seven, six, five, 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 four, three, two, one. Yeah, we're on seven. I did the Kit Kat finger. Now you weren't sure about that, were you? No, it's too strong. I really liked it. Moving on. So I number really seven. This was one of Erin's. Now this is proper American sort of food. This is goldfish baked snack crackers. These were four pound fifty. But mmm, they're good, aren't they? We think so they're basically I wish little I got fish. A different flavour though. Basically they're little fish. Just pretzels. Yeah. Good quality pretzels. What other flavours did they have? Um they had original. What is an original? That's not. What's this one? Pretzel. Oh right, okay. Um I can't remember. Mm. But they were nice. Mm. Weren't they? Mm. So coming in at number six. Hostess cupcakes. Now, Indy merch. Mm, you can get hostess. Now, these are the same people who make Twinkies, and we do like a Twinkie in this house. You get eight individually wrapped cakes for 10 quid. So, these are quite expensive, but I have seen these before on like um, TikTok, like sweetie walls and stuff. They come individually wrapped, they're like little birthday cake cupcakes, obviously, because that's what it says. And then inside, I'll put the little picture down here, right over Erin's face. They've got like a creamy filling inside. I thought they were really, really tasty, to be fair. I really like them. And per cake is 180 calories. I don't think that's too bad. That's not too bad, is that? So that was our number six. So, crashing in then, at number five, was the Twill Caramac. £2.50 for a Twill Caramac, that's quite a lot. I think it, we didn't keep this in the fridge and I think it would have been better, but you really liked this, didn't you? What did you like about it? I don't know. <laughs> it's very creamy and I think that's the caramel and stuff, so yeah, but £2.50. Not so sure. So that was five. No, it's four. Right. It's £2.49. Oh, whatever. Come, now, there's a theme that will run through the top four. And we'll see if you can guess what the theme is and what Evan and I particularly enjoy. <laughs> in at number four was the McKennedy American Way peanut rings. Now these are weird because I can't figure out. It's like a um, a mazy puff, like a what's it, but less orange stuff all over it. It's called cheese, but peanut flavoured. And these are good, aren't they? That's a good quality snack, and 100 grams is 498 calories. That's a lot of calories in there, but very tasty. Number three was the M&M's Coffee Nut. Now, you don't like these, do you? But you don't like coffee. If you follow our channel, you know I love coffee. These are dreamy, and they're huge, aren't they? They're big. Mm. I thought they were really tasty. You have enough I mean, you know, side tasting there, <laughs> nerds. Mm. I thought these were really nice. But we ripped off how much they were, so I'll pop it in the corner. How was those? No, what was number two? Here. No, it didn't have a um, Coming in at number two, another bag of M&M's was the peanut M&M's. 
These were very good. Did you want another one of these? Or are you having your own side to taste it again? Mm. Mm. Really creamy inside, really peanutty buttery. Mm. They were joyous. So, we've made it down to number one, Erin Nicole Crane. What's our number one? The Reese's <sighs> Dark Reese's Dipped Pretzels. Ugh, these are, now you'll see, there's not many of these left, is there? No, I ate most of them. This is what they look like. Peanut butter, pretzel, chocolate. I don't one. What's tonight? Five pieces is 140 calories. But they are genuinely just delightful. I like that one. Mm. On the back, they've got dipped pretzels. So it's just kind of like, rather than having the dark chocolate, fully coated dark. So this was, now these were five quid, but I think they're worth every penny. So you will notice, I never knew Reese's were made by Hershey's. I did. Did you? I didn't know that. It's just got the Hershey company on the back there. I never knew that because I don't like Hershey's chocolate. Mm. It's horrid. I love it. No, it's weird. It's too powdery for me. Um, so yeah, so you will notice that four out of our things in the top five have peanut butter in it because we love peanut butter, don't we? Mm. There's no getting away from that fact. So yeah, so biggest disappointment? Definitely the brownie. Biggest surprise. What was the biggest surprise? I think it might have been these. Mm. And definitely favourite. These. So yeah, so tell us below if you tried any of these. Um, what you thought of them. Are there any American-y type sweets that you think we need to try and find that you really enjoy? Um, yeah, let us know, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh wait, no, there's still some more over there. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> They're just crisps. American crisps. Grilled steak. I think well, they'd be like a American. McCoy. But you don't get peanut rings in McCoys, do you? You do. I've never seen a peanut ring McCoy. I Chris. have. Oh, I was just talking gibberish now. So yeah, so that's our little American tasting. So for any of, um, any of our American viewers, <laughs> who do we think we are? I hope you had a great happy 4th of July. And um, yeah, we'll see you. Same time, same team, same place. I've turned it to Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> help is on the oh, way. Help is on the way, dear. Yeah, so we'll see you same time, same place next week. <laughs> Don't forget to um, give this video a thumbs up. Click the notification bell. Please subscribe. Um, follow us over on Instagram and we will see you next week. Bye.